My name's Martin Blundell. My medium is oil painting, primarily landscapes. Oh, way back in uh, elementary school, uh, I think it was the sixth grade that I had a teacher that we had, we separated out to do art and I'd done a watercolor and it was um, a, uh, some yellow aspen trees and she uh, came around and told me, oh, you've done that very well. And so I thought to myself, wow, that's pretty cool. I did that. Uh, she at least patted me on the head about it. And uh, so my parents kind of saw that I had some kind of aptitude and they would buy me paint by number things for Christmas. And so I'd do that kind of stuff. But then at junior high school, I had an, an art teacher that, that kind of uh, took me aside and said, look, you, you can probably do it in this world. I got a degree in drawing and printmaking at the university. So I did a lot more graphic kind of work etchings, lithographs, screen prints, all of that kind of thing. And uh, so I was working with paper and, and uh, printmaking processes. Uh, and so uh, along with that, I used to do a lot of drawings, a lot of collages, uh, mixed media kind of, kind of work. But when I decided to sell our business, we, I, I decided to start oil painting again, thinking about being in galleries and, and the market, marketability of, of art. And I really think oil paintings are more marketable uh, than some of the other uh, works, especially work on paper. So I started painting and I decided to paint the landscape primarily. And that's what I've been focusing on for about the past five, five years. I paint with very few colors uh, on, my, on, on, on my palette. I use uh, ultramarine blue. I use alizarin crimson, cad red medium, cad yellow medium, and white primarily. Uh, and so that gives all of the paintings a, a, a uniform color sense, if you will. I describe my work as the intersection of reality and memory. I start in a real place, I take photographs, I make drawings. I generally do the work in uh, the art in the studio. Uh, but uh, halfway through, I paint with a brush the first half of the painting. Halfway through, I give up on my materials, my resources, and I paint, I finish the paintings with a palette knife. So that forces me to back off of detail and, uh, uh, and makes basically marks that are almost abstract, if you will. Uh, and uh, it forces me in the second half of my painting, uh, of the painting, to focus more on my memory, how I felt about the piece of art. And uh, subsequently, I think it's given me a signature look um, uh, where I have a, r quite a bit of surface on my paintings, which I think um, helps them. Just recently, I've decided to, to say I'm going to focus on something and see how well I can do it, how far I can go. But I'm also uh, referencing where I live out here in the West. You know, a lot of people, if you grew up in New York, you might not do the landscape. Um, because it's out west here, it's an amazing place and, and interesting, uh, and I traveled a lot. Uh, and so um, a lot of my paintings have come from the, uh, the borderland of Arizona and Utah. Uh, and, and that high desert area has kind of intrigued me. And I've decided to try to uh, uh, investigate it enough that I, maybe I exhaust it one of these days and move to something else. But, uh, it's a breathtaking world out here in the West, and, and, uh, and I think there's a history of, of uh, painting the landscape, you know, with Western painters from all over the Intermountain area and California. Um, you look at even abstract painters like Richard uh, Diebenkorn, uh, really was an abstract painter, but, but he was motivated uh, in his early career and his later career primarily by the landscape. Uh, so. Uh, I think it intrigues, you know, Western artists and painters, and so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give up my go at it. The big advantage uh, is that the artist is, has a studio here. Basically, the artists are working, so when people come around and take a look at your art, they they, they are also able to talk to you and see uh, see you working, see paintings in in, in different. Uh, uh, levels of being completed. 
And uh, you don't get that in a gallery. Uh, you go to a gallery opening, uh, the artists are so busy, you hardly have a chance to talk to them. And otherwise, you probably wouldn't get a chance. So that's the real thing that I think distinguishes it.